Facebook, YouTube, what's up guys? Today is, what is today? Sep September the 22nd. We're out here in the Swanee, Georgia, Sugar Hill uh, community. Uh, I don't know how Scobie got lost, so there he is. Uh, but we're out here, guys. This is a new client. Um, she was actually recommended to us, and they were thinking about putting the house on the market, but they took it off the market. But she still want to get the floors done and show you guys what we're going to be doing today. This is 1,888 square feet of wax removal slash screen and recoding um, usually we charge 250 for the wax removal and then two dollars for the screen and recoat but since we're here I do give the clients a discount so I took it down to 350 a square foot so I'll show you guys if you look at the floors you can just see all the wax that has built up over the floors and it's a lot guys so um, all this so we got the foyer the dining room this hallway and right now, we, so you can see kind of right here, look really close, see all that wax on the floor? All of that, guys, look at that. All over here. She said she was quoted by another company to sand the floor $6 a square foot, which sounds reasonable um, because sometimes it can be a pain to get all this wax off the floor. So anyway, guys, me and Scobie are going to go ahead and get started. I went and did an estimate this morning before I got here. She booked on the spot, same thing, wax on the floor, uh, screen and recoat. Uh, they got all the furniture moved out the way for us, as you can see. And they actually went out of town, left the door open for us, told me to call when I'm done to get the payment. And uh, yeah, we're going to take it from there. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are getting some good progress. Um, we had to uh, try different methods. Uh, whatever's on this floor, it's not your typical wax, some type of sealer, because uh, it's really hard and brittle. As you can see. But it is coming off. Just really just got to take our time. No need to rush. Find is paying us good money to do this. So I want to make sure we get some great, great results. We're going to go with a satin polyurethane. Yep, coming off really, really good. So let the machine do the work for you. Take your time. Get some great results. Using some SSP pads. But sometimes you just don't know what people put on these floors until you get into the job. Sometimes they go by smooth and sometimes, again, they can uh, require a lot more than usual. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we got these floors. Uh, man, the wax removed. This stuff was pretty bad because the reason why, when they probably start putting that wax on the floors, there was no polyurethane on the floors. So it actually soaked into the wood and we had to do an aggressive screening to get that stuff off. I mean, really aggressive. But anyway, guys, it came off really, really good. So we're about to get ready to put the first coat. We're just, uh, Scobie just loading the trucks back up now. Uh, oh my goodness, since I've been here, man, I had like six new estimates. And actually, one of the estimates, man, uh, two of them, two of them was referred to us. Remember that area right here, guys? All that wax is on the floor. Look at how much better that looks. But two of the estimates, one came from a wood inspector from a restaurant that I got to go look at Saturday morning in Buckhead. And then another one came from another company. They just sand floors, um, but they don't clean floors. And the lady just want her floors clean. I'm going to look at her tomorrow. So I got four estimates tomorrow so far, but that's all I'm doing. But Scobie will be out working. He has a, a screen and recoat tomorrow. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get the poly put on these floors. So we'll come back and show you some results. Stay tuned. All right, guys, you can already see how good this floor is going to look. Right now, I'm just trying to work on my T-bar skills. Guys, I always tell you it's like a snow plow. So you kind of want to keep it at an angle. What you think of the scope? Doing great. Man, this floor is going to look amazing. Alright, I'm going to push out my SS poly, get those 
those marks out. I'm gonna make sure I don't block myself in. Man, this one's gonna look so good. All right, guys, look at that, look at that. I'm getting that first coat down. And you can just see how much better these floors are gonna come out. So this is just the first coat. Just the first coat. Beautiful, beautiful. Skills. All right, guys. First coat. Um, so we're not ready for the second coat yet, but I'm about to go. Uh, I have to go do another estimate, and now I'm gonna get my hair cut. But man, these floors look so much better, and they also look a lot better with the uh, satin finish. Uh, so Scoby's gonna be doing the second coat of the satin finish in about 30 minutes. I talked to the homeowner. She's very excited. I told her everything looks amazing compared to what how, what condition the floors were in. But I told her that the wax was so caked up. You know, we had to go really aggressive. Um, what was she using? And she said, Courtney, we was using orange glow and we was putting it on the floor once a month for almost seven years. So that's why we had to go so aggressive to get that stuff off because she said her cleaning people was putting that stuff on the floors every month for almost seven years. But guys, you can just see the floors now so much better. Remember all up in here, you get to see all those scratches. If you go back to the beginning of the video, all this man, this just looks so much better. So much better. Remember all up in here, all up in here. Oh man, so much better. Oh, with this. And this area right here. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to hand and um, put this video together. And another job well done. I got one that I'm going to be doing Saturday. Uh, again, uh, four estimates tomorrow, one job Saturday, and an estimate Saturday morning. And that will end our busy week. And then Scobie has one tomorrow and also Saturday as well. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.